It's YouTube, it's YouTube Wednesday. Wednesday. That's Wednesday. Intestines. I have a piece of EMT pipe here. I would normally work with a full 10 foot length of EMT pipe, uh, but for now I've got this piece right here. It's five feet long, so I'll I'll use it. Um, it's it's just about half a piece of EMT pipe, maybe a little bit less. Ordinarily, I would use a whole piece of EMT pipe and because that gets me longer runs of intestines. First thing I want to do is I want to apply a release agent. I'm going to use turtle wax as a release agent. A little bit of turtle wax. Mm -mm, good. And I really want to make sure that the whole pipe is covered end to end. Good old plastic wrap. This is uh, the packing plastic. It's got a handle. I like it because it's fast. You don't have to use this particular kind. You can use any saran wrap, any kind of plastic wrap at all. I'm going to get it started. I don't want it to be smooth. I want it to be nice and wrinkled. I'm going to twist my pipe. I can get more wrinkles if I put it on kind of loose. Set it down. He gun. Put it on the high setting and I am shrinking the plastic wrap right up onto the EMT pipe. I'm going over every piece twice because I really want this melted together. Okay, once I have my wrap already set up on my, it's nice and firm now, I'm going to give it a bit of color. You can color your guts any way you want. You can use a flesh tone, you can use red, you can use gray. Um, I tend to go for gray or bloody, I mean, it depends on the situation. Um, I'll go ahead and do a fleshy colored set because it depends on what else I've got in the scene. If it's just guts, I go gray. But if there's a bunch of things, who knows? And I'm just using spray paint. And I don't have to get them solid either. I can leave them fairly translucent. I don't think that's a bad look for guts either. Once I've gotten my paint down, then I'm going to go with more saran wrap. I'm just using a different kind to show you that you don't have to use the, the moving and packing kind like I normally do. And you don't have to do it the way I did it at first by rolling it. You can always just pull the length, rip it off, and roll it around. This actually gets you a good, pretty uneven layering, and I'm going to do this twice. So now I have my pipe with more on it. Once again, it is heat gun time. I 
I'm gonna do one more layer on here. I'm gonna do one more layer, uh, and I want this to be really rough. Because I really want to add texture now. I want those textures to be different. I want chunky spots and thick spots and thin spots. Just adding a little bit more color, just some red. And I'm just misting it. So for the last layer on my intestines, uh, I'm using some of my glue blood from Blood on the Cheap. Uh, you can see that the recipe for this in that video. I'm just going to put some in a gloved hand. I'm going to go ahead and give it a little coat. Now you can see the different textures that you get from the cellophane. Uh, the glue is going in there and kind of highlighting some of those differences. You have folds. Okay. It's really nice. It's like a, a membrane that kind of wraps around. And real intestines have that kind of gunk and texture to them. You know, I love these pockets and stuff that you get. Now, I would do this again to a whole 10 foot length of, of, of AMT pipe. This is 3 quarter inch electrical conduit. Take my gloved hand here, move this chair. And because I have that mold release on it, I will be able to pull this off. Okay, this whole guy is going to come off. As soon as you can work one end free, then it actually pulls off pretty easy. So now remember, here, here's my intestines. This is free from the, this is free from the uh, form. All right. I've slid it. It's got some translucency. It's got some color. It's got some blood on it. They're really kind of pretty. All right. So here's my intestines, free from the form, and I made about five feet or so. But if I want more. Then I simply pull it off to the end, leave about six inches on. I wrap the rest of the electrical conduit. I add my mold release again, do the whole 10 foot piece of conduit. And where I join these two, I just wrap a little extra, extra cellophane on and I go ahead and make it longer. They will marry together. The glue help holds them. The uh, cellophane and the heat gun help hold them. It all bonds together. That way I can get 30 foot, 40 foot, 50 foot of intestines pretty easy and super cheap. That is intestines on the cheap.